Hey guys, Mark here with another edition of Weaponized Truth. Um, I came across something on Twitter today. Uh, apparently the story broke four days ago. Um, I'm, I have to be honest, uh, I'm actually trying to stay away uh, from some of these Trump issues a little bit. Um, just for the simple fact that everybody is covering it and there's actually some other things that uh, I want to cover on my channel and get back to what I'm all about which is Agenda 21 and uh, stuff like that uh, I've been doing some uh, interesting uh, research and discern and some other things but this right here folks uh, is what many people are calling the smoking gun uh, I'm not going to play all of this audio uh, but I want you to hear this. Uh, we've got some breaking news on this whole wiretap scandal uh, involving Donald Trump. Uh, that's going to, uh, if this gets enough attention and people actually look into it, which no one seems to do anymore, um, this is it. This is a smoking gun right here. Um, this is the evidence that uh, should vindicate everything that Trump has said 100% and uh, you guys need to hear this I'm just gonna play you a couple of minutes of it and uh, I'll leave it at that uh, leave me your thoughts and uh, if I can find the link to this uh, uh, audio file again I will attempt to uh, put it in the description uh, unfortunately with some of these files uh, trying to copy the link uh, that goes to a direct download is sometimes kind of tricky uh, but if nothing else, I did find an article about it, and I will definitely post a link to that. But you guys need to hear this, so without further ado, listen to this. This is big. But at least I'm enjoying the ride. At least I'm enjoying the ride. Yeah! And now more Operation Freedom. Freedom. With your host, Dr. Dave Janda on Southeast Michigan's conservative powerhouse, Wham Talk 1600. Call Dave now at 822-1600. That's 734-822-1600. Welcome back to Operation Freedom, folks. I'm Dr. Dave Janda, broadcasting from our Freedom Bunker here at Wham Talk 1600. I guarantee the content we're going to discuss in the next half hour you will not see in the bought-off lamestream fake media. Why? Because they won't touch it because it takes on the globalist syndicate. You know, folks, there has been so much smoke and mirrors, and there's been so much, issue, so many issues raised about... Did Obama or did anyone tr uh, tap, wiretap Trump? Uh, oh, no, that's conspiracy theory. No, we're going we're gonna to get to the bottom of it. We're going to get b b to the bottom of it quick. I am honored to have back with us someone I consider a friend, someone who is an incredibly courageous individual and someone I respect, um, one of the people I respect most in life, General Thomas McInerney. General McInerney is the founder of Government Reform Through Technology, a consulting firm that works with high-tech companies. They conduct business with federal, state, city, and local governments to help them introduce advanced technology into the public sector. Prior to this, Tom was the CEO and president of Business Executives for National Security and National Nonpartisan Organization organization of business and professional leaders. For 35 years, General McInerney served as a pilot, commander, and strategic planner in the United States Air Force. Tom retired from military service as assistant vice chief of staff of the Air Force and director of the Defense Performance Review, reporting to the Secretary of Defense. General McInerney led the Pentagon's reinventing government effort, visiting more than 100 leading edge commercial companies to assimilate their ideas about business reengineering. Tom graduated Graduated from the United States Military Academy and earned a master's degree in international relations from George Washington University. He also attended the Armed Forces Staff College and Naval National War College. He is co-author with our friend General Paul Valley of a great book, The End Game. He, uh, it is an honor, Tom, to have you back with us on Operation Freedom. Thank you, Dave. Good to be with you. Tom, last time you were on our show, and I've pushed this issue on my YouTube channel as well as uh, on this show, we discussed the Espionage Act. And um, 
Barack Obama's actual, I believe, violation of the Espionage Act. I have been called a uh, conspiracy theorist for saying that. I have been called uh, many things worse than that, actually. Tom, am I off when I say that uh, Obama has violated, and other individuals such as Hillary Clinton have violated the Espionage Act? Uh, No, you're not, Dave. And the reason you're not is Hillary Clinton was operating a server. People call it a rogue server. Uh, that she had over 2,000 classified emails and over 200 special access programs, SAP programs, divulged on it. That server did not have an ATO, which we it means authority to operate. In other words, it was a rogue server. Mm-hmm. The first email that went into the White House from her uh the White House Communications Agency, WACA, which I used to oversee when I was in the Pentagon, the number three man in the Pentagon, uh, they had to report that to the chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel. Rahm Emanuel had to tell that to the president. And and right away, I can assure you, NSA at Fort Meade has every one of the emails that she sent and the 30,000 or 32,000 that she deleted. Now, she violated the Espionage Act with that because not only were the Russians, Chinese, Iranians, Israelis, uh, and others, French, British, uh, tapping into that network. And so that information, the classified information was divulged, which meant she was in, in violation of the Espionage Act. It also means that President Obama was too, because he sent her Mm-hmm. an email mm-hmm. using a pseudonym. Mm-hmm. And so he knew, and he, he is complicit in the approval of that rogue server. And that's why it's a very serious thing. I believe that is why the re- Democrats are bringing up the uh, Russian complicity or in the election and a whole host of other things because they do not want the Justice Department to go after this issue, in addition to everybody understands uh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton's uh, foundation, the Clinton Foundation, what a, a, a deal that was in violation of U.S. code. So uh, you, what you say is correct. Now, let me complicate your problem a little more. Go right I ahead. just got 15 minutes ago, and I just sent it to you. Yeah, I saw it. And from, I'll read it. From, Gen- Did you? from General Lyons. Go ahead. I, I want you to, because yeah. I think this is really, really important. And the lamestream fake media, Tom, will never touch this. Go for it. They will uh, never go. President Obama's Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, and his Central Intelligence Agency Director, John Brennan, oversaw a secret supercomputer system known as the Hammer, <laughs> according to formal NSA CIA contractor turned whistleblower Dennis Montgomery. Clapper and Brennan were using the supercomputer system to conduct illegal and unconstitutional government data harvesting and wiretapping. The hammer was installed on federal property in Fort Washington, Maryland, a complex which some speculate is a secret CIA NSA operation at a U.S. naval facility. President Trump's allegation that the Obama administration was tapping him is not only supported by Montgomery's whistleblower revelations about Brennan and Clapper's computer system, the hammer, but also by statements made this week by William Binney, mm-hmm. a former NSA technical director of the World Geopolitical and Military An- An- Analyst Reporting Group, by former CIA and State Department official Larry Johnson, and by Montgomery's attorney Larry Clayman. The system, the hammer, according to the audio tape, success, the phone calls, emails, and bank accounts of millions of ordinary Americans. One of the ordinary tapes made public by federal judge Murray Snow revealed that Brennan Clapper particularly targeted and wiretapped Donald Trump a zillion times. End of quote. 